Calculus! This is AP Calculus Lesson 4-5. It is currently 3.05 on Friday, October 26. I'm recording this early in the morning because I know I'm not going to be able to come into school and I need to get this recorded before I take care of Riley. So I'm going to be even quieter than I normally am because everyone is asleep. Let's go ahead and talk about derivatives of y. So normally we've been taking derivatives with respect to x of x's. We haven't been taking them with respect to x of y's. What's been happening here is um, if you multiply this by x over 1, that's another way of thinking about this, then that means my fraction is going to be dx over dx. And dx over dx, anything over itself, is always 1. So the derivative of x is 1. We know that implicitly, but this is the, the reason why. When we take the derivative of y, again, treat this as y over 1, the fraction becomes dy over dx. And this is not 1. This is just dy dx. And another way to call that is just y prime. These are just equivalent forms. I can go forward and backwards here. If I'm looking for y prime, I'm really looking for dy dx and vice versa. So how does that work when I'm actually solving problems? Let's look at an example. So this one, I'm taking the derivative still with respect to x. So now that's actually important. With respect to whatever I'm doing um, is important. So if I'm looking at this one, I'm taking the derivative, it's still powerhouse. I'm still bringing down that 4, multiplying down. So if I multiply down, it's going to be 12. And then y to the power of 3. y to the power of 3. So I subtract 1. It's the same rule, but here's the difference. Now I have a dinner that isn't 1. The dinner used to be 1 here if it was x, but because it's y, our dinner is just the derivative of the inner. The derivative of the inner is the the derivative of y. The derivative of y is just y prime. y prime. So what happened here? We had this number right here. Sorry, this term right here. That is our doubter. This term right here, that is our dinner. So here's your basic rule. If you're taking the derivative with respect to some variable, let's say you're taking the derivative with respect to x, then any other variable aside from x will have a dinner of that variable prime. So if I was taking the derivative with respect to x as something with w, then my dinner will be w prime. Make sure you always remember to do your dinners. Those are the most hard, or the, they're the hardest things to remember to do. Let's see another example. Example two, I'm taking the derivative of this negative 2y. So just think of this as negative 2 times the quantity of y. So I'm just basically taking the derivative of y and then multiplying by negative 2. So this is going to turn into, sorry, I forgot my negative, into negative 2y prime. Because the derivative of y is y prime and there's no, no powerhouse here. That was just our normal rule. All right, let's see example three. Uh-oh, we have two functions, an x and a y. This is going to be product rule. Product rule, again, is 1d2 plus 2d1. So this thing down here, down here, is going to turn into, well, 1 is x. d2 is the derivative of y, so it's going to be y prime plus 2d1, 2 is y, d1 is times 1. So now, if I just simplify this a little bit, it's going to be xy prime plus y. Alright, let's see an even harder example. Uh-oh, again, I have two variables. This is product rule. There's my 1, there's my 2. So here's my 1, d2. So 1 is going to be negative, maybe I should do my arrow. My 1 is negative 2x. My d2 is the derivative of y squared. We know how to do the derivative of y squared because we've seen y to the fourth. So it's going to be times 2y to the power of 1. And then I multiply by dinner. Don't forget your dinner. Times, okay, this is to the power of 1, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, leave it off, otherwise it's going to look like y prime. This is going to be times y prime. This is d2. This whole term, this whole term right here is d2. Okay plus 2d1, so 2 is now y squared, y squared, and then d1, the derivative of 1, is negative 2, times negative 2. Simplifying this a little bit further, this turns into, I have a negative 2 and a positive 2, so a negative 4, and I just squish all these variables together, 
x y y prime plus squish these together so it's actually going to be a minus 2y squared all right so uh, when we're going to take implicit derivatives and this is uh, helping you get it set up to work on example 5 on the back how do you do this problem if it's asking for dy dx and I have a bunch of stuff messed up over here and I can't get this by itself what am I trying to do and it's pretty straightforward if you know it but I'm just teaching this right now of course this is what happens when you're recording early in the morning is you first take the derivative Once you take the derivative, that means you'll have a y prime, you'll have a dy dx. And then in order to find dy dx, you just isolate it. it you treat it like an algebra problem. So then, oops, that was way too fast. Then isolate your dy dx. So those are your two steps that we're going to be doing down here. Take the derivative and then isolate. And it's going to be the same steps over and over. Um, you'll have to learn new tricks depending on the type of problem, if you have multiple dy dx's, and maybe sometimes you'll have fractions. All right, so let's go ahead and do this problem. So first, I'm going to take the derivative. Everything always with respect to x. It says with respect to x right here. So if I take this with respect to x, this is going to be 2x. Notice that our dinner here was 1. Plus, OK, now I have product rule. Product rule is going to be I'm going to do this in orange up above just to distinguish it. It's going to be 1d2 plus 2d1. So I'm going to have 1, which is 2x, times the derivative of 2. This is going to be times 2y, that was doubter, times dinner, which is y prime. Then I'm going to do plus 2, which is y squared, y squared times the derivative of 1, which is 2, times 2. And then I need to say that's equal to the derivative on the right. The derivative of a constant is 0. All right, now I need to isolate for this y prime. This y prime represents dy dx. Again, you could write all of these uh, primes dy dx over and over, but it's so much writing, it's easier to write y prime. So how do I get this by itself? I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 2x and then isolate this y prime by getting moving everything to the right-hand side. So uh, just simplifying a little bit more, this is now going to be 2x plus 4xy y prime plus 2y squared is equal to 0. I'm going to first subtract 2x, subtract 2y squared, and I'm going to be left with 4xy y prime is equal to negative 2y squared minus 2x. And then from there, I just need to undo this multiplication of 4xy. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4xy, and I'm going to get y prime by itself, which is going to be that same thing on the right, 2y squared minus 2x. But all of that divided by 4xy. And there I have it. There's dy dx. Go ahead and write your summaries now. And again, uh, the worksheets are already printed out. They're in that third slot in that black um, filing thing that I have on my desk. And if you can't find it in there, then just go ahead and print it out from Google Classroom. Thanks, guys.